Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrow. Welcome and Happy New Year. Uh, Peter had a great question. He wanted some clarification on the Dantian and what does that mean and, and how do we become more aware of it and what is the function? What, 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 is, what part does it play in this, uh, this whole system? And I probably can't ex exhaust all the possibilities on this, but it's something that I, I think needs to be discussed because it's um, there's a lot of mythology around around the Dantian, and I think uh, you know having some way of of bringing it into uh, your reality is 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 really important. So the uh, the idea of the Dantian is it's the um, the sea of vitality, the elixir field. It's considered to be this very yin place that at in the lower abdomen, which is a uh, a foundational element in your energy field, your ability to to um, to handle chi, and um, uh, there, a lot of people talk about storing chi in the dantian, and I've mentioned this before, and it's something that I don't consider that to be a a viable idea. Uh, I think it's 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 nice as an image to think of it that way, but I don't think it's it's actually. Um, uh, if you're not feeling the chi that's stored in your dantian, don't worry about it because I think that's more of an idea, just a like a uh, a point of focus that uh, than it is an actual thing. I don't believe that energy is actually stored; it is circulated through the body and released, and so your chi goes in, chi goes out, and um, there are places that we can bring more awareness to and and we can actually feel the energy more than others but it i don't find it particularly useful to think of storing chi in the dantian i do think it very useful to become more and more aware of dantian and what what that means and um, there's another idea that you know is, is fairly popular, and that is the uh, uh, the uh, Chi High Point, the um, conception vessel number six, which is just under the, like like an inch and three quarters underneath the the navel, is considered by many to be the the Dantian, and uh, that's another thing that maybe not you can. You can use that as a as as a, an idea of visualizing it, but if you consider the dantian as not just that point, but actually your whole lower abdomen, I think you're closer to to the mark. You can still focus on that point, you know, as a like kind of the bullseye, but it actually is that whole lower abdomen, and. Um, so if you if you address it as such, then you can actually it becomes easier to locate if as such. You know the uh, master Yang Fukui he talked. Uh, he said, uh, yeah, his his great great uncle said, yeah, if you want to if you want to feel your dantian down, sink your dantian down to your knees, and so he, he talked about actually you know lo expanding that that state of awareness to uh, to in, include a much lower part of the of the body you want to really sink it and so that you're you uh, have more uh, energy away from your head and more into your body so the um, if we look at it as 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 much an energy phenomenon as a physical phenomenon then I think it, it kind of fits in with the body mind spirit integration idea that that I've been peddling and uh, if we look at it as such we say okay 
the if I'm looking at my lower abdomen, what's going on there? Well, first of all, that's your your biome. You know, the all those rogue cells that are occupying your body are are occupying that space down there in your in your intestines and your uh, uh, in your lower abdomen, and it is where so much of this vitality is is coming from. We also see it as like the end point of the vagus nerve. Vagus nerve initiates at the base of the skull in the jade pillow gate and actually the medulla oblongata and it kind of winds its way through all the organs and then ends up in that, that lower abdomen. So if we look at it as a circuit connecting up the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull with that lower abdomen and making all local stops for the heart and the lungs and, and kidneys and all that. So then we see that there's an organizational factor that's occurring there. And that whenever you do plug into the Dantian, you bring your awareness to that, you're, you're becoming more uh, directly in relation to your vagus nerve. Now your vagus nerve, is uh, mostly parasympathetic. That means it is in the, the rest and digest part of the, the nervous system. It is what sustains our functioning. So a lot of our activity is sympathetic. That is, it means we're in the go, go, go part. The energy is up and very young. And consequently, we we detach from our body as we do that. We get lost in our thoughts. We get lost in our story. And consequently, there's, there's a, um, a disconnect. So what we wanna do is to be, if by bringing awareness into the Dantian, we're connecting the dots. So the, um, And so one way of feeling the Dantian and, and really getting a meditation into that is to actually put your hand on your lower abdomen with uh, you know, just below your navel. And uh, and breathe into the nose. And you want to feel an expansion all the way down there to your lower abdomen. And this is a way of using your breath to animate that, that area. You're breathing into the Dantian. And by doing so, you're activating part of your body, which is ordinarily doesn't get a lot of attention unless it's hurting. So just as you inhale, just feel your belly expand a little bit. Exhale, it retracts, releases. So let's take this one step further. We're going to inhale for a count of three and allow your belly to expand. And then hold that for a count of three. And then exhale for a count of three. And hold on the exhale for a count of three. So let's just do 10 breaths like that. The idea here is you're actually feeling your breath. You're feeling the effect of your breathing on your body.
And what's occurring here as you're doing this is you're bringing the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems into balance. And consequently, it's also restoring a harmonious functioning within your internal organs. This is a great thing to do when you're trying to get to sleep at night too. Good. Now I would like you to become aware of your jade pillow gate right there at the base of the skull. Reach with the crown of your head, lifting, tucking into chin and opening the jade pillow gate. Now we're going to connect up the Dantian with the jade pillow gate. Because that's, that, that's a location right there with the medulla oblongata, the part of your brain that controls breathing and heart rate and a lot of the internal functioning. So you want to keep your awareness in both places at once, both in the Jade Pillow Gate and at the Dantian. Good. Okay. So just notice the effect that's had on your nervous system. Just a, a couple minutes of doing that. And we're not thinking about necessarily storing chi in the Dantian. We're just bringing awareness to it. And the energy goes there just by bringing awareness to it. The E leads the chi, and the chi leads the blood. So we're focusing on the substantial aspect, the body part. And that provides a location. We're locating the jade pillow gate as part of the, the back of the neck, the dantian as, as the lower abdomen. But this is only half of the equation. The other half is the insubstantial part, that is the Dantian as an energy field, the Jade Pillow Gate as, as an energy field. So these focusing on the, the, the physicality is a doorway for the mind to come in contact with that which is much less substantial. So the mind wants confirmation in the real world that something is happening. So you can feel like, oh yeah, I'm feeling calmer, more balanced in a matter of a couple of minutes just by doing this. So that's, that's a way, that's, that's a, a real world reference point that kind of confirms what we're talking about with regard to the insubstantial aspect, which seems to be a bit more abstract. And a little harder to, to hold on to. But as we become familiar with those effects, let's say on the Dantian, 
we start to become aware of the insubstantial part of that, the energy part. And there's a, a we notice the that there is a yin effect on the on the body, and so the, the Dantian area is associated with the element of water, which is very yin. And so getting that feeling that that watery feeling that calmness centered relaxed is the is cultivating the the water energy which feeds the kidneys and that is where your in chinese medicine that's where your vitality is that's where you know the it's, it's associated with your your um, prenatal chi what your what keeps you going but it's something that we can continue to cultivate so what we're doing here is we're doing something which is actually very appropriate for this season we're we're just in the last couple of weeks of winter believe it or not from the chinese calendar and winter is over at the chinese new year which is january 20 first or 22nd. So we're taking this moment to get very still and really focus on that the insubstantiality that comes with these physical actions. So from a martial arts perspective, feeling that the vitality that comes with connecting up the yin part of your nervous system, of your energy system, that feeds the yang expression. And this time of year, we want to really kind of go with the season and really attune to the yin part, particularly after the holidays where there may be in a lot of running about and fussing and, and to be able to take a moment and say, oh yeah, let's do this. that Dantian is considered as the yin pole on the system, on the energy system. And the jade pillow gate is actually a gate. It leads into the knee one. The, you know, sometimes uh, the knee one is translated as the brain, but it's also, um, I mean, more directly, it refers to uh, the, the term Mitniwan actually comes from mud pill. And uh, it was a, um, a euphemism for the pineal gland, a mud pill. And uh, the, the Chinese, in Chinese philosophy, medicine. So they, uh, so we're actually talking about more what's going on there. And there's a, you know, we talk about the Niwan mostly, I refer to it as this point here at the crown, at the, at the crown of the head, the posterior fontanelle, but it's also the, the third eye is, is the other pole of the Niwan. So we're connecting body, mind, spirit here by doing this. And the, and I want you to continue to breathe as we're doing this because um, it's an important part of this process. I'm, I'm throwing in a lot of information here, which you don't have to remember, but um, it's uh, good to 
have some uh, awareness of it. There's a lot of stuff that's tying together here. And this, um, the Jade Pillow Gate, not only does it connect up with the Dantian as like a, like a pole there, it's like um, uh, a big gate in that, that, that energy conduit. But um, it has a lot to do with the flow of cerebral spinal fluid. So um, it's something actually I want to talk about tonight too. And that was uh, re coming across an article just released, a, a study just released in December about uh, Alzheimer's and a, a study done at Northwestern Medical um, has indicated there's evidence that mental deterioration, including Alzheimer's, is tied into, is likely tied into uh, a non-coherence, that's my word, they, they say an angry cells in your, in the immune function of your cerebral spinal fluid. Now your cerebral spinal fluid is the, the it's the stuff that surrounds your brain and your spinal cord, acts as a cushion, but also nourishes the brain and spinal cord. It's uh, you don't, the brain doesn't get um, its nutrients the way the rest of the body does. It actually goes through the cerebral spinal fluid to do that. And, uh, so the, uh, and your brain also uses, I think about 10 times as much oxygen, you know, a brain cell as, as the cells in the rest part of the body. So there's a lot of going on there. Whenever we kink the hose at the, at the, at the, at the, at the jade pillow gate, this puts a kink in the, the flow of cerebral spinal fluid. So, when we, anytime we kink a, kink a flow, you're going to get some sort of disturbance in the, in the energy there. And uh, so they, they talk about it as angry immune system cells in the cerebral spinal fluid. And they said cerebral spinal fluid has its own immune system. And whenever they get angry, they cause uh, deterioration in the brain which I found very interesting because I've been doing uh, craniosacral work, been, been doing that for over, over 25 years. And a lot of this is very intuitive for me. That is, whenever you get your craniosacral, do craniosacral work, you're creating a highly coherent state in the cerebral spinal fluid, which has an effect of nourishing the brain and also releasing a lot of difficulties that the, the in the body mind. So putting those two together, I'm thinking like, oh, okay. That's why they call it angry cells. I, I say non-coherence in your cerebral spinal fluid. What's one thing we can do to take some of the turmoil out of our cerebral spinal fluid? Open the jade pillow gate. Because where they talk about it, they talk about it as um, releasing the jing, jing shen, the spirit of vitality. Whenever you open the jade pillow gate, your jing shen floods through the whole system. And that's a, a, a way of saying that uh, that spirit of vitality doesn't just come from, from nowhere. It's from you, you're, it's whenever you release the impediment that you've placed on it by the position of your head and you allow things to flow again, it's like it 
you're, you get this burst of vitality because things operate more smoothly. Jingshan also implies a highly coherent functioning throughout the, uh, throughout the organ systems in, 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 the, in the body. So what does that tell me? It tells me that whenever you remove the, the kink in the hose in the, in the vagus nerve, that you're gonna get better functioning in the organs. So let's connect up the, these two. We've got the Dantian, we've got the, we've got the Ni Wan. So this, the reason why I bring it up is that it actually requires some effort on your part to, to make it happen because the left to its own device, the head's going to kind of, it's going to fall forward and collapse. And, and it actually is, it takes a conscious willing. You have to will your head to be upright because gravity is pulling down on it. It's, it's yanking your head down. So you're saying, no, no, I'm reaching up. So you're defying nature when you're doing that. You're saying, no, I'm going, I'm going to go the other way. And so that requires doing it over and over again. If you connect up your Dantian with that, that quality there, that reaching with the, with the, the new one, then things get really interesting. We start to feel that Jing Shen, now, Jing Shen is also, we're taking Shen, which is spirit, and Jing, which is the, the fluid part of body. So we're combining body and spirit. So Jing Shen, that vitality comes from a conscious intention to unite the body and, and, the, and the spirit. And well, who's doing that? The mind. So we get that body, mind, spirit integration. Going back to that again. So let's stand up and we're gonna take this and do a very gentle exercise with, uh, with the same idea here. Now begin with your feet, if width, So feel the balls of your feet. Knees are soft. You're sinking down into the into the earth. Feel yourself kind of like you're standing on the beach and you're feeling yourself sinking deeper and deeper into the sand. Now reach with the crown of your head. Open the jade pillow gate, tuck in the chin. Relax your lower back, drop your sacrum. Push away from the earth and then spiral down, releasing the qua, getting very sung, sinking deeper. Reach with the elbows a little bit. Point at the index fingers. And feel your three pillars. We're opening the big G and circulating that throughout the body mind.
Carrie. Feel the weight of the space. It's like a viscous fluid. You're pressing down on your arms, relaxing your muscles, letting go of any extraneous muscular tension. Around your arms, feel expansion in all directions. At the same time, you're pressing in with the arms as you're expanding outward. It's like you have a balloon that's filling up the space between your arms. And you're pressing against that. At the same time, you're reaching out and radiating outward for the outside of your arms. Arms down. Press down. And feel the viscosity of the space as you're pushing down. Relaxing, sinking. Feel yourself being more and more sung. Reaching out and arch your back, sinking back, reaching back with the crown of your head as you reach out, reach forward with your hands. Relax. And rotate your palms so they're palms up. Feel very receptive. And coming up. And bring your hands over your Dantian. Men uh, with the, the right hand on the outside, the women with the left hand on the outside. Don't ask me why, that's what they tell me. And feel your breath pushing, expanding your dantian, expanding your belly. And feel your hands with your belly with your Dantian. And feel your Dantian with your hands. Reach with the knee one, open the jade pillow gate. And connect up your Dantian. your jade pillow gate. In each breath, feel yourself sinking into the earth. Don't change the angle of your knees. Just feel yourself releasing down. And as you release down, feel the yin chi rising, filling.
coming in waves. And reach for the crown of your head. And feel the yang chi coming down and illuminating. Feel the radiance. Bring your mind back to your breath, feeling your Dantian. Feel the density of being, the density of your presence. Come more and more there with each breath. And bring your awareness to the water that is your cerebral spinal fluid. Feel your spine, the cerebral spinal fluid surrounding your spine, surrounding your brain, bathing it with that radiance, bathing it in light. Bringing a high level of coherence, healing all those angry immune cells in your cerebral spinal fluid. Give them, lot, give them lots of love. Feel the vitality as it courses through the body. You're not hanging on to the chi. You're part of a massive chi circuit that extends to the ends of the universe. You're an open system. Feel the radiance of it as the chi illuminates each cell in your body mind, repairing what needs to be repaired, healing. Feel the heat in your hands. Separate your hands. Feel into your hands. Feel your whole body. Step in. Deep breath. Really feel your arms as they move through the space. Feel the hairs on your arms. Now throw that all away. Disappear the chi, the body, the mind dissolving into the emptiness.
Please have a seat. Well, thank you. Thank you, Rick. That was uh, splendid. Uh, You're welcome. It really, it really changed and deepened my, you know, understanding and progress of the Dantian and its, and its role. Uh, great, great. Again, just great timing. I was at physical therapy today and my physical therapist dealt with some areas on my back that he hadn't dealt with before. And my reaction later in the day was there was a sort of a, a tightening of this entire area and little headache here, then a little headache here. And then when I started doing this, it was, everybody was dancing a little bit, energy was coming in again. And at the end, it was just when you mentioned the waterfall of cool healing water, now I, I don't feel it. I don't feel the, the tightness. It may return as soon as you disappear from my sight, but <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Valerina. Um, I have several comments. I don't know if they're gonna come out. <laughs> um, noticed a lot of saliva, you know, while we were doing that meditation, which is water. It was very great. Um, the do for yes, do do for yes, yeah. yes. And it's, uh, I don't get that all the time, not to that degree. I mean, I do usually, but not to that degree. Um, and I like the, dis I mean, that was spectacular. Really, really enjoyed that. Um, but I also enjoyed very much your discussion of the Don Tien because yes, for years and years, you know, there's talk of Don Tien and, you know, it's like there's so much mystery around this this area that, you know, is supposed to twirl and whirl and do back flips and forward flips. And it's like, I don't get that, you know, I just, it was, and then, you know, you made me feel much more comfortable when I, it's like, how can you move your Dantian without moving your abdomen? You know, <laughs> the Dantian isn't going and then the hips are, it's all interconnected. It's all there. And so, you know, then I didn't feel so um, alone in my thinking, you know, and, you know, the mystery being ripped away. It's, I, you know, really, really appreciated that. Uh, so, and that's, that's what I teach about Don Tien. It's like, okay, we can, we can pinpoint where it's supposed to be according to the, the books and, you know, blah, blah, but you move the Don Tien without moving your, your entire abdomen, do it. Cause <laughs> I'd like to learn from you then. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, it, just the whole, everything that you were talking about. Uh, like I said, you know, you've been saying this for years and I've appreciated it very much. Again, don't feel so alone in what I experience, you know? Um, but yeah, no, that was, uh, <laughs> it's, it was, I like the sound and, effects. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> there were sound effects. And with the breathing, you know, um, and feeling the yin connection and the yin coming up, but, but still not, you know, it's there's the coming up, but there's the, the going down. And this going up and out, it's very much, it brings to mind the picture that everybody has seen in multiple 
uh, variations of the tree, you know, with the branches that just extend, 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 and the roots that just go down and down and down. And, you know, that trunk part being, you know, the, the physical body. Um, it's all good. <laughs> all good. It all comes down to it's all good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, Scott. Well, um, I have a question. Well, actually, a question, I guess. Um, so, like, when uh, when I connect up my dantian with my crown, or when I'm really feeling my spinal spinal fluid, or you know, doing a lot of these exercises, I get to a point where I get waves, and then my body just wants to like twitch and spasm and stuff, and I usually just kind of not kind of keep it from doing that because I think that's what I was told somewhere in the past but I don't know what the uh what your thoughts are on the whole subject um my thoughts on that in general uh that it just that your your wiring is being upgraded in real time so you're you're pumping more juice through the system than it has previously been equipped to handle. And so breakers are, are popping and, you know, there's lots, of, <laughs> there's lots of things that, you know, need to be ironed out and straightened out and things like that. And so that the twitching and, 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 and the like is um, just your body saying, wait a minute, you know, this is new. And, you know, and it, it unkinks. So uh, uh, in general, I think it's, it's a good thing, you know, to, uh, uh, you don't want to get stuck there, you know, where, uh, yeah, but it's um, just don't, it's just part of, part of the game, just part of, part of the, uh, the, the passage. So you just let it go. Okay. Just notice it and say, yeah, okay. Good job there, fella. Keep going, you know, and you, uh, uh, and you roll on. You know, I have run into people, you know, who make a game of like, oh, look at me. I've, you know, I'm, you know, I got so much chi, you know, and it's like, that, that's fine too, but, but that gets old. So, you, you know, you, you, you move, you move on, you know, you, you let it happen and then you, and then you, then you move on because what you're going to is really cool. You know, it's the the place you're headed is really cool. So you want to, you know, you know, you don't want to spend too much time on the, uh, you know, on the, the 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 process, but you take as much time as you need. Yep. Does that make sense? Yep. yep. Go yep. from twist, go from twist and shout to the magical mystery tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would, yeah, it's not like, uh, you know, it's not like I'm going to be, uh, you know, uh, you know, like, in a, you know, seeing God in the church and all that. It's more like a, it's more like a whole body shiver, though, kind uh -huh. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, yeah, go for it. Just let it, let it happen. This is your body talking to you. So, yeah, you're, you're upgrading, you know, just say, boy. You know, it all comes down. It all comes down to all good. All good. <laughs> it's all good, man. Great, <laughs> Peter. Yeah, uh, it was all good. You know, it was. I I enjoyed all the complicated information and all the dots you connected. I'm going to listen to this. I think several times and take notes. This was really. But the highlight for me, the best part was that the basic practice at the beginning, abdominal breathing with reaching with a knee one. And I think you kind of transmitted or facilitated a meditative quality, uh, you know, more than I, I've, I've done quite a lot of abdominal breathing and reaching. Usually I, I start with abdominal breathing and then I kind of let go of that consciously to focus on the knee one. But uh, and exactly what you described happened. There was this um, like, you know, sinking, letting go of the flurry of the mind 
and grounded in this space with a really nice, more subtle kind of energy of being and, uh, you know, very chill and warm at the same time. Uh, it was really, you know, to be able to, you know, you know, it's a fairly simple practice, you know, the idea of it. Um, yeah. So, you know, something to share with friends to, um, uh, yeah, it, and so it was, and, and, and that experience really is, is what fueled the improvement in my notion of the Dantian and the whole energetic structure or pattern as, as not, you know, very different from the geometric diagram or even, you know, something located in the physical body. I'm thinking of it now more as a nexus of the development of mind, body, spirit integration and where it, where it goes. That it's sort of like, um, it's like a significant place for that progression. It's like a door. There's, it's like a doorway to the bigger picture from the little physical picture, the more highly dimensioned picture. Uh, absolutely, but like a door. There's the physical door, and right. there is the space it is opening into. Right. And, and so we want. There, you know, we have to honor the physicality as well. Yeah, but the lo the location in the abdomen is just the the. Uh, the op it's the entry way. It's the door. It's the, it's door. the door. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's real important to honor the physicality there. That's the absolutely the Jing part, the Jing part of Jing Shun. You know, absolutely. Is it, it's like you know, it's the you know, it's like the finite and the infinite, or you know, and their their inseparability. But it's just r r being reminded of the the whole schmear, the really big picture that includes it all. Uh, experientially, uh, with that, with that, you know, kind of like going to that doorway and this doorway, and then beginning to move into that bigger space, nicer right. space. Right. Yeah, yeah it, really, that, really. It, it's definitely a both and rather than an either or. Right. You know, I think that's the, you know, the, the key takeaway in this is like, yes, you know, feel your belly. But it's not your belly. It's not just your belly. You know, it's 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 that's that's part of it. You know, but that that what that does is it takes the insubstantiality and brings it into the body, brings it into manifestation, which is kind of what we need. You know, and so, but that pulsing between, as you said, the the finite and the infinite is uh, is is the key. It's being able to say yes. Yes, and let's let's roll with this. <laughs> sign sign me up. Sign me up. Excellent. I may have to come to Arizona. I'm, I, it may be impossible not to come. I I, I think you're onto something there. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie the siren. That's the <laughs> <laughs> the silent siren. <laughs> the Dona is the headquarters of the big schmear. The big yeah. schmear. <laughs> Great. Uh, okay. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, let's wrap this up. Uh, thank you, Maria. And uh, thank you all. Thank you, Maria. Oh, thank you, Rick. I know there's only a few of us here, but that uh, I at one point was thinking it's <laughs> what a party we are having a small party and uh you know and, and thank you for holding that space because there are people who are who are checking it out on youtube who uh you know who uh can't be here for yeah. for, for this so you being here and give me something to talk to is uh is more fun than me just blathering on by myself so uh, we're, the, we're the studio audience that's it <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're you're my partners in crime, so I appreciate. That. Just uh, just remember just remember my motto: more for me. More for me. <laughs> hmm. Not Buddhist. <laughs> Not Buddhist. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, great. Love you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye.